Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this episode, we are right at the border between Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama, visiting Lookout Mountain. So come along. This episode of Grand Adventure is sponsored by The Dirt. Find the campsite that's right for you from over 44,000 listings, either on the web or in their number one ranked mobile app. Get extra features and functionality with an annual membership to The Dirt Pro. Lookout Mountain lies partially in all three states, Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee, rising to nearly 2,400 feet above sea level. It was the scene of both battles between frontiersmen and Cherokee in the 18th century, in the north and the south in the 19th. The name Lookout Mountain is said to have come from General Andrew Jackson's troops, but more likely comes from the Cherokee term for two mountains looking at each other. Lookout Mountain and Sand Mountain to the southwest make up a large portion of the southernmost end of the Cumberland Plateau. The area was lifted from an ancient sea and worn down by erosion for millions of years. Today, it's a broad, steep-sided, flat-topped mountain reaching north to the doorstep of Chattanooga, a respelling of the Cherokee name for Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain is home to tourist attractions including the Caves of Ruby Falls, the heavily advertised City of Rocks, an incline railway, Civil War points of interest, and a hang gliding school along with Cloudland Canyon State Park. One of the largest and most scenic parks in Georgia, Cloudland Canyon contains rugged geology and offers visitors a range of vistas across the thousand foot deep gorge cut through the mountain by Sitton Gulch Creek. The park was purchased in stages by the state of Georgia beginning in 1938. And at 3,500 acres, it's still growing sporadically. Today, the park features a variety of campsites, cabins, hiking, and recreational activities. The park contains several well-marked trails, which allow visitors to view the geology of the canyon and its surroundings. The Waterfalls Trail begins at the main overlook and progresses into the canyon along a 40-degree slope. Most of the trail consists of a 600-step staircase. Here at Cherokee Falls, only a third of a mile from the trailhead, Daniels Creek tumbles down a 60-foot cascade into a deep pool below. The flow varies widely depending on the season. Time to move on to the next one. From Cherokee Falls, we get to descend the remainder of those 600 stairs to reach Hemlock Falls. Daniels Creek drops a full 90 feet here before disappearing into the boulders that line the canyon floor on its way off of Lookout Mountain via Siddons Gulch Creek.
Having enjoyed the waterfalls, we're going to head across a bridge over Daniels Creek to follow the nearly five mile West Rim Loop Trail through rhododendron, mountain laurel, hickory trees, and giant oaks to connect with the Bradshaw clan. Tom Bradshaw runs the excellent YouTube channel Camp Travel Explore. Together with wife Cindy, daughter Brianna, and son Matthew, they've traveled here from Central Florida and rented one of the state park's cabins to spend some time with us. We'll put a link to Tom's popular channel right here on the screen and in the video description down below so that you can go check out his wonderful videos for yourself. Tom contributed numerous clips to this episode of Grand Adventure and we're thrilled to have been able to do this collaboration. The West Rim Loop Trail offers some scenic hiking and stunning views into the canyon below. has to be one of the best views at any Georgia State Park that I've seen. Exploring, do a little camping, traveling to these states, and this is the payoff. Camp Travel Explore. the genius out here on the trail. <laughs> We're camped in the park's East Rim Campground, where our water and electric site costs $32 per night. Our friendly neighbors, Dwayne and Katie, are great adventurers who have just started their own YouTube channel, Chosen Adventures. We'll link to their channel here and down below in the video description too. Sites here in the East Rim Campground are spacious and inviting. 
We've booked a week. However, we've got a problem. We need to work from the trailer. And while our cell carrier's data is weak and barely usable at our site, it's faster than we've seen all summer over at the camp host site, only 100 yards away. But the campground is booked solid, so we can't change sites. Park officials have graciously agreed to refund the unused portion of our stay, and we're off to find an alternative campground on one of the busiest weeks of the summer season. So that's why we had to move away from Cloudland Canyon State Park and relocate our camping site down here to Marion County Park. We're right on Nick Jacks Lake, uh, which is an impoundment of the Tennessee River in Marion County, Jasper, Tennessee. We really lucked out. Marion County Park had one site available for the remaining duration of our stay, and at 21 bucks for a water and electric hookup site right on a beautiful Tennessee mountain lake, it's a true bargain too. With the water's edge mere feet from our campsite, this is too inviting. It's time to get the kayak out for some paddling.
One of the most popular tourist attractions on Lookout Mountain is Ruby Falls. Anyone who's traveled I-75 in the southeast has seen many billboards and barn roofs plastered with the invitation, See Ruby Falls. It consists of guided tours to see a series of underground cascading waterfalls, totaling 145 feet deep within Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain Cave once had an opening to the outside world, but Ruby Falls Cave never did. Sometime after the natural entrance to Lookout Mountain Cave was closed during the construction of a railway tunnel in 1905, Entrepreneur Leo Lambert formed a company to reopen Lookout Mountain Cave as a tourist attraction. His vision included reaching the cave via a new opening serviced by an elevator. And while drilling into the limestone in 1928, they discovered a small passageway about 18 inches high and four feet wide, leading into the formerly hidden Ruby Falls Cave. The falls are fed by both rainwater and natural springs. Water collects in a pool in the cave floor and then continues through the mountain until finally joining the Tennessee River at the base of Lookout Mountain. Despite the popularity of Ruby Falls, we admittedly both felt somewhat underwhelmed on this visit. Perhaps it's because we've been in spectacular caves like Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico, which we filmed for you for episode 126. Maybe it's the 50 bucks it costs for both of us to enter the cave, or the numerous modifications made to the cave to make it more tourist friendly. Whatever it is though, we felt like our time in the area could have been better spent. Now, the same can't be said for DeSoto Falls, just across the border in Alabama. While we were working from our trailer midweek, Tom and his family stopped by these beautiful waterfalls in an inviting state park en route back to their Florida home. The Little River begins high atop Lookout Mountain before plunging over the 104-foot waterfall. Now, during last week's episode from the Smoky Mountains, we explain to you a few of the things that we absolutely love about our video sponsor, The Dirt. We shared how we've been using The Dirt on our American Heartland 2020 to find great campsites just like this one. You can use either the web at thedirt.com or their number one ranked mobile apps for iOS or Android to choose from over 44,000 campsites and read over a million user reviews to help you find that, that perfect spot for you, whether it's just for one night or for an entire week. We shared how there are two different flavors of the dirt. There's a free version that absolutely anybody can use on the web or on the app. And we also shared how there is a pro version that's available with extra special features just for pro users. We explained to you how pro users get the ability to download maps and campground searches for offline use. So that way you can navigate and find the perfect place to pull over, even if you're outside a cell service or Wi-Fi range. We also explained how they just added discounts at over 400 campgrounds across the country, including Thousand Trails and Encore Resorts. Discounts that range from 10% to 40% off per night. But they just added a new feature just for pro users this past week that makes it an even better value. And that is trip routing. You can put in your origin, you can put in your destination, and it will either pick the route for you or you can customize the route to your own preferences. And it will identify campgrounds, it'll identify gas stations, all along your route. Now you can use filters, so you can look for gas stations that are big rig friendly. You can look for only campgrounds with five star reviews. So you can customize that trip exactly the way you want it to be. Now normally, a 12 month subscription to the Dirt Pro 
costs $35.99 per year. However, they've made a special offer for our Grand Adventurers of 10% off if you sign up in the link down below in the video description. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed coming with us to the Lookout Mountain area at the intersection of Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. If you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, now is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. Because we premiere new RV-centric outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday evening. And coming up next week, we'll be coming to you from Hot Springs, Arkansas. We would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. Now down below you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you after each episode. And it's extremely important to us that if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. So until next week, as the American Heartland Tour 2020 travels to Hot Springs, Arkansas, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.